In this segment, we're going to talk about the fundamental playing techniques for the timpani. So first, let's start by figuring out how we're going to set ourselves up to play the best we can play. The first decision you have to make is, am I going to stand up while I'm playing timpani, or am I going to sit down? Either way works, but if you're going to sit down, make sure that you're sitting on a stool that's high enough that you can be at a good playing position while you're sitting down. You don't want to be sitting too low or too high. Next, you want to figure out, how am I going to position my drums? Ideally, you want to be sitting in such a way that your drums are at a distance where if you're in a relaxed playing position and you rotate around the drums, your sticks are naturally going to go to the best beating spot on each drum. So, the larger the drum is, the further in from the edge you want your beating spot to be. On the largest drum, the 32 inch drum, my sticks are going to be further in than they are on the smaller drums. You don't want the drums to be at a position where you're going to have to reach to play in the best area. And you don't want them in a position where if you turn to play, your sticks are naturally falling in a bad playing area, like too far into the center of the drum. You want to do everything you can before you even start worrying about how you're going to hit the drums to make sure that you're going to be playing the drums in the best spot to get the best possible sound. You want to set your drums up in such a way that there's a line between your 29 and 26 inch drums that goes directly up to the conductor. And in that same field of vision, that's where you want your music stand, right in between the 29 and 26 inch drum. When you're positioning your music stand, don't put it too high or you'll have to continue to look up at the music and back down at the drums to figure out tuning and beating spots and all the other stuff you're going to have to worry about while you're playing. You also don't want it so low that it's resting on the drum heads or impeding the resonance of the drums as you're playing. You're also going to need a tray for your mallets and your pitch pipe or your tuning fork. So it's a good idea to either position it in between two of the drums where you can have easy access to it or behind you, whichever you're more comfortable with. 